as I'm going to show right now. What I do is, uh, uh, once again, this time I have Bluetooth off and, GP and GPS on. I turn on GPS. I go back. Uh, I have to close. Uh, this time I open this nice uh, application called GPS Status. And you can do. Oh, it has already fixed. Well, that's because I was busy this morning, so this is a, a hot start. I want to show uh, uh, how does how much a, a fix that takes uh, during a cold start, but this was a hot start, so it's already viewing. Already viewing. Uh, ten satellites, and is connected to it's connected to nine. What I do when I'm home, I go outside, but not too far, so I'm still in range of my uh, wireless. Uh, You go to settings, you go to GPS and sensors, oh, yeah. GPS required, oh. and then you go to manage a GPS state. So what are you going to do if I still have a uh, 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 Data. I, I, I still have good data here. Uh, how to call it? Uh, recent data that I downloaded uh, three days ago. So, if you have old data, you just reset the one you have and you download new data again. And then, what happens is, is that that fix, even during a cold start won't take longer than two minutes. Of course, this is no a GPS. You're not using uh, the triangulation between cell towers of your, of your provider or whatever. You are downloading data from, from the internet. And that is the assist that I'm using. And it's working fine uh, with the Samsung Galaxy S. Uh, as I said, the shift, the the, the built-in GPS uh, receiver is not as I don't know how to say strong or capable, efficient as a shift degree. So navigation is not that stable because you will never lock the uh, uh, you never lock to more than nine satellites, as I noticed many times. And the accuracy is going to sweat is going to swing between five and ten and ten meters. But it's stable enough and it's good enough. And now we're going to make a, a little try. This time I used before the motor net. Now I'm going to use Navigon. Both motor net and Navigon. Uh, I'm, I'm using the most recent recent uh, European map, maps. So let's enter address. And it choose my list and we can start navigation. Please turn right at the T junction in two hundred yards, then immediately turn left. Let's It's going, to, it's going to be this time a short uh, trip again for five minutes. So the Galaxy S can replace any uh, standalone GPS device, <coughs> as you can see. It has enough uh, RAM and uh, has a 
powerful processor and a better screen 4 inch uh, Super AMOLED screen is better than any uh, screen of any any st uh, standalone de uh, GPS device that I saw and I have uh, and I had feel and I still have I still have the Clarion map, map 680 which I can sell it now because I don't need it anymore So it's quite accurate. Now turn left. Now turn right. And it's not even consuming too much uh, battery, as uh, as I can see. Also because I'm not online, I don't have G G G G on, etc. Arrived at your designated road. So let's park and let's see how many satellites it's being right now. We cannot see through uh, Navigon, so I'm going to open GPS status again. So, let's. But uh, let's open GPS status. Uh, GPS status uh, is going to be a, a hot start. It's a hot start. It's in seven satellites. There is another program. Let me see if it is in the background. Another problem that you can use also is the Turbo GPS. This problem has a lot of options. I still have to figure them out. But we have here uh, all kind of views. So we have the satellite view. You can see that it's uh, it's been now five satellites. Now it's been more and it's fixed to six and it's been seven. Six, seven. So is not as uh, stable as a shift, as I said, as a shift degree, but it's stable enough. But the more you have here in Turbo GPS, you go to debug, and here you can reload storage. You can save the running track. You can uh, you can download data to the to the right folder of uh, Turbo GPS, and then you can use it to speed up that fix during a cold start. We have a lot of options here. Uh, let's see. Uh, options. How to start the GPS source internal. So we can change it. Or I have the LDDW. A lot of options. GPS settings, you can go set GPS settings. As you see, I don't, I don't have wireless networks uh, enabled. Just internal satellite and this new feature of Royal sensor reading. So, still have to see. To check all the possibilities out of this uh, uh, application, also free application by the way. Uh, if you close it, it stays st working in the background, so you can go to debug and force exit. So sure that your uh, application is closed. No, you don't close. Ah, never mind. Uh, and this, this is another one GPS. GPS finder or GPS test. Let's see. GPS test. 
Hang here. Oh, so this one. Insert extra data. So here you can uh, inject extra data. Let's make a close up. Inject extra data. So all these applications like GPS Finder, dates. So this is also a very nice application to download data to speed up that uh, fix that lock. And he start update online for for those that are constantly online but for those that, that account you can update this right away want to download uh, orbits I cannot download now because I'm not, uh, I'm not online and uh, in fact you don't need a GPS so all these settings that by the way is the settings are standard on GPH application settings. This is I didn't change those. They are standalone. The operation mode I think this is important. Hot start on on dynamic accuracy. We also have these settings as we have this server has to do with Google probably it's related to Google Maps, I don't know, well, anyway, I don't, I, I don't really use it, I'm, I'm never, I'm never online, I just go online when I, when I, at home, I, I want to download data, but, don't forget that you have to go outside, you have to, turn GPS on, then you, you, then you download that, that's why I don't know that's what the programs requires programs like GPS stats and GPS provide and GPS uh, finder etc you can also try GPS toolbox well and that's it end of video 2 or part 2